The UN needs to adapt and bring new voices and new perspectives. That's why we support reforming and expanding the membership of the UN Security Council. Our UN ambassador just laid out our detailed vision to reflect today's world, not yesterday's. It's time to move forward. The Security Council, like the UN itself, needs to go back to the job of making peace, of brokering deals to end wars and suffering. And to stop the spread of the most dangerous weapons, of stabilizing troubled regions in East Africa, from East Africa to Haiti, the Kenya-led mission that's working alongside the Haitian people to turn the tide. We also have a responsibility to prepare our citizens for the future. We'll see more technological change, I argue, in the next two to ten years than we have in the last 50 years. I would like to reiterate that we are on strike for two good reasons. The CBA is the lifeline of workers. Yes. Bill a CBA, there is no welfare. Yes. Solidarity. Forever. Solidarity. Forever. We are on strike because of the CBA. The National Collective Bargaining Agreement for 2020, 2021, 2025. No CBA, no work. Yeah, we want that CBA to be negotiated as per the 2019 recognition agreement. Yes. When we talk of the 2019 recognition agreement, we mean basic pay. We mean house allowance, a raft of allowances, and several other issues. We are saying that we cannot be discriminated as workers. We have also been affected by inflation. We are affected by this econo economy. And we are saying we need to be cushioned like any other worker. All other public servants have, have received some increment to cushion them. University workers have been omitted. They have been neglected. Are we going to allow this? No! Are we going to allow discrimination? No. We are saying, let us treat all workers equally. equally. Number two, we are talking about our collective bargaining agreements at the local level. We have so many of them pending. We are talking of 2013, 2017, 2017, 2021, 2021, uh, 2025. Now, if all those CBAs are pending, what is happening to the welfare of workers? That means that the workers' welfare is still affected. We still have huge disparities across universities. And that is why we are saying we need all allowances to be harmonized. We want allowances to be harmonized. We want all the university workers to have the same commuter, the same medical benefits, the same annual leave traveling allowance, with a raft of issues. We want those internal CBA to respond to the welfare of the workers. Solidarity. Solidarity. And today we are having mega demos launched by Kusu and Wasu. That is why we have also launched our mega demo here. Yes. And we've had our mega procession. And we are saying until they respond to our demands, we are going to have a total shutdown of all learning activities. We are saying no teaching, no online teaching, and those ones who attempt to do online teaching, we are going to name and share them. Solidarity. Thank you very much. Colleagues, thank you for the support. Let us continue with the struggle. Solidarity forever. adapt and bring new voices and new perspectives. That's why we support reforming and expanding the membership of the UN Security Council. Our UN ambassador just laid out our detailed vision to reflect today's world, not yesterday's. It's time to move forward. The Security Council, like the UN itself, 
needs to go back to the job of making peace, of brokering deals to end wars and suffering. This to stop the spread of the most dangerous weapons, of stabilizing troubled regions in East Africa, from East Africa to Haiti, to Kenya-led mission that's working alongside the Haitian people to turn the tide. We also have a responsibility to prepare our citizens for the future. We'll see more technological change, I argue, in the next two to ten years than we have in the last 50 years. Solidarity? Forever. Solidarity? Forever. Yeah. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Solidarity We shall never be divided. Until we do what? We strike a deal.